So our directions for Work Together 5-4 read, um, write the answers to the following problems. Your instructor will guide you through the example. Journalize the following transaction completed during July of the current year. Use page 13 of a general journal and the abbreviation for a check is C. So the transaction is July 3rd, paid cash to establish a petty cash fund, $250, C57. Start with the month. And the date of the third. Now, basically, what we're doing is we're transferring money from cash to an account called Petty Cash. You only establish the Petty Cash Fund once for the business, and then after that, you will never use the account title Petty Cash again. And that's where it gets confusing. So, the account that we're going to be affecting is going to be Petty Cash, source document is C57. Petty cash is increasing because before this it did not have a balance. So it's going to debit petty cash $250. And we're going to credit cash $250. This is the only time that you will use the account title petty cash. Where students struggle is every month you're going to have a transaction like this where it says paid cash to replenish petty cash. And so far, you've been trained pretty well that, okay, anytime you see an account heading within the transaction, you know that needs to be affected. You are not affecting, on July 31st, the account petty cash. Because petty cash is the amount that we say that we're putting in that box. So they said we're putting $250 in this box. And as far as accounting land knows, there's still $250 there. But what happened is we pulled out these receipts, and we've said we've spent $25 on supplies, we've spent eight on a uh, miscellaneous expense, and $45 on repairs. So what I need to do, and when I record this transaction, is I have to affect supplies, miscellaneous and repairs. Do not put the account title petty cash in there. So the date is going to be the 31st. My first account that I'm going to affect is going to be supplies because that's the first one that's listed. And it's not a supplies expense, it is truly supplies. Check number is C97. There's a big gap between um, the first one on this page and this one just because we're assuming things happen between July 3rd and July 31st, even though we are only recording two transactions. So supplies is being affected for $78 as a debit. Sorry, not 78, 25, wrong number. Now the next account that we're affecting is miscellaneous expense. And that's being debited for eight. The third one I'm doing is repairs expense, and that one's for 45. Now, I have three debits, but I don't have a credit yet. What you should not do is you should not put 25, eight, and 45. Because really, how much are we affecting cash by? says it in the transaction itself. 78. So I'm going to put one amount into my cash column, and that's going to go on line two on the very first line for this transaction. I'm going to put a cash credit right here for 78. I've affected those other accounts individually. So here's one of our first transactions where it's going to take us three lines to complete. It truly could take us five lines if we went through to take a look at um, all the different things that we spent money on for petty cash. But we need to remember when you re replenish petty cash, you do not use the account title petty cash. You affect all the ways that petty cash was, was stated on there. And you'll have individual debits and then one cash credit. Go ahead and try that on your own. Oh, I put rent expense, not repairs. Oh, that was not good for me. Repair expense.